One of a common interview question that is often asked to automation testers is explain object oriented programming principles. Welcome to 100 days 100 interview questions for SDET. When it comes of creating a robust automation framework, one of the most preferred choice of programming language is going to be Java. And you know why? Because Java supports strong object oriented programming principles. Now, when you're answering this particular question in interview, make sure you not only talk about the eight OOPS principle, but also tell where you have used it in your project. So let's get started. So the first one is classes and object. Whether you create POJO classes, page classes, DAO classes, DB utility, any kind of utility in your automation framework, you create a class and you access those methods with the help of objects. Instance variables play a very important role in your automation framework. And we try to protect the instance variable with the help of encapsulation. When you want to have a lot of code duplicacy, you can reduce it with the help of inheritance. We use the same method name to perform different operations with the help of poly Officer. You can hide the complex code and make your code easier for other people to understand with the help of abstraction. Features like modularity, association, aggregation, compositions make your large complex Java code into smaller classes which becomes easier to maintain. I hope you have understood all the important principles of object oriented programming and where you're going to use it in your automation framework. So that's it for this particular video. If you found this particular video useful, please make sure to follow and hit that like button. I will be seeing you guys in the next video.